Jackson, um, bassist for Queensryche. Uh, how's everything going today? Everything's going just fine. Uh, we have a day off here in uh, Baltimore and uh, just kind of going to relax, chill, maybe grab a bite to eat later and just do that sort of day off thing, you know. What kind of other stuff do you guys do, you usually do on your day off? Just kind of just relax or nothing in particular? Well, well I mean, th- th- it depends on the time of year, you know, the season. Like right now, it's a bit too cold to be golfing. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I mean, I would go go out, go out and golf if the opportunity, you know, presented itself. But, uh, I don't know, sometimes we'll go see a movie or just relax, you know. We'll, we'll, we'll generally try to find something to do. Yeah. Um, so let's talk about the uh, the new album, um, mm-hmm. the, ver- the Verdict. Now, this is your 16th album for you guys. Is that mm-hmm. crazy that you guys have 16 albums? Yes. Uh, <laughs> it's never in my wildest dreams that I ever think I'd be, I'd still be doing this today, 16 albums later, you know, but, uh, you know, we're, 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 you know, doing our thing and, uh, we all still have a strong passion for this, which is, I think is really important, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's been quite the journey though. Yeah. Um, tell us a little bit, a little bit about this new album. Um, what's the uh, concept behind it? Well, I don't know if there's really any sort of a concept. Uh, usually, you know, most of our, our, of our albums have some sort of theme behind it, but uh, with the exception of, like, my Operation Mindcrime 1 and 2, that yeah. uh, that was kind of based around a conceptual idea. But, you know, I we just generally uh, write about, what, current events, personal experience, et cetera. And uh, that's that's pretty much in a nutshell. Now, uh, do you uh, go into the studio without anything, or you kind of do it on the road? So I know some bands kind of maybe write a little bit while they're out on the road for the next album, or do you just kind of go into a room and and hit it? We generally uh, try to find the time to write whether we're at home or on tour. And yeah. once we feel there's a, a selection of songs that we, you know, we feel uh, – are are worthy enough to focus on and start working on them uh then we then we take that next step but it 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 can be difficult riding on the road but we generally try to find the time uh there's a lot more distractions out here um but uh this 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 last album this new album we just released the verdict uh though it was 3 years since we released condition human mm-hmm. this album just took that much time to complete uh there's no it is what it is you yeah. know there's no reason behind it we just it just took that time to uh to finish to and complete and get yeah to evolve yeah. and uh but uh yeah well, we're we're very proud of it though process changed much from album to album i mean yeah, you kind of went into that a little bit but i i think the only thing that changes is the new selection of songs but for the most part it's kind of Kind of like the, you, you take the same approach. You yeah. you come up with song ideas with demos. Uh, we all get together, take a listen to them. Uh, whichever songs we feel are worthy enough to you know start and create a template for, uh, we just focus on those songs. Uh, pre-production uh, before we go into the studio, making sure you know we craft all the songs together that we're going to be recording, and and then once that uh, first day. Uh, of recording, just start pressing the record button and off we go. Yeah. Now, um, do you guys um, typically have all the album or all the songs that you that are on the album? Are those the only ones that you've worked on? I mean, are there other ones that didn't make the album? Oh yeah, we actually yeah. had. Uh, a good, on this. I think we had a good eighteen to twenty songs uh, that we kind of contributed into the pool of ideas and uh but we just felt there's wh- wh- however many songs we feel whether it's 10 or 12 or 15 yeah. uh we generally try to try to pick the songs that are in the best contention and uh we feel thematically could work with what we're trying to put together as a, as a whole you know yeah i mean it's got it's got a flow right right I absolutely mean, yeah absolutely so how how's the recording process changed over the years really for you guys well it certainly has changed quite a bit uh 
even the music industry as well. Um, it, it's, 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 I mean, we, we've been, we've been a band 35 plus years and we've seen all the changes. Yeah. Uh, and I understand, I understand, you know, it has to evolve, but I think there's pros and cons of, of evolving. Uh, a lot of it is out of our control. Yeah. Uh, we try to generally just focus on what we, we do and, uh, not, get caught up with everything else because then I think it can affect your your creativity and uh, your your way of thinking, you know, but um, it, it has changed quite a bit. Uh, the way we record, you know, we used to record back uh, in the day with reel-to-reel tapes. Now it's all digitally uh, recorded. Uh, Which do you prefer, really? I don't know. Nowadays, I think with the new digital recording uh, and the Technology nowadays, it, it 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 certainly has come a long way than it did like 20 years ago. Um, yeah. I remember one of the first uh, recording uh, programs out there called Pro Tools, uh, like 20, 25 years ago. Uh, I'm I, at the at first I'm thinking, wow, this is interesting. I wonder what, what you know, wonder how this is going to fare, you know, later, you know, in the in the yeah. few years from now. And sure enough, it it, it just uh, everything started to go digital and uh it's 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 certainly a little bit more convenient um uh, but like i said it's come a long ways than like, like 25 years ago uh the sounds yeah. are better uh, uh when it comes to guitar sounds bass sounds effects you know delays uh everything's all on board everything's on your computer all on board uh yeah, these days, I mean, some bands don't even, you know, get into the same room and and record. I mean, there is that way you do it. You do it from different, you know, recording studios and then just kind of put it all together. Well, we like I said, we well, we have our own little portable studios that we take with us uh on, on tour. Uh-huh. Uh yeah, and we're constantly writing. Um but once one of us comes up with an idea. We just basically email each other, uh, have a listen, let me know what you think, yeah. and so forth. You know, uh, it, it it certainly does make it kind of a convenient way of doing this as opposed to mail putting it in the mail and waiting it to arrive for two or three days later. Now you just email it within seconds. And yeah. uh, so it does make it a bit more efficient. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, I tell you, like I said earlier, it, 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 it the way we record and the whole industry, the music industry has changed quite a bit. Now, on the new album, do you have a uh, do you have a favorite song on the new album that you either just like to you know listen to or you like to play or? Uh, that's a tough one, but I mean, I, I, I get I get we do get asked that a lot. What's your yeah. favorite Queensrÿche song or Queensrÿche album? Yeah. Um, each one has its own special thing, you know, and. Uh, yeah. So it's it's really difficult for me to single out one song. Yeah, we're, we're all like very your, proud of what kind of like uh, what, what kind of mood you're in. <laughs> yeah, perhaps you know. I mean, I, I you know, I mean, I'll go back and listen to a band, uh, whether it's Iron Maiden, Alice Cooper, Grand Funk Railroad, Led Zeppelin, yeah. Metallica, uh, Slayer, or whatever. Uh, you know, it depends on, like you said, depending on the mood. Uh, I'll just. Uh, you know, press play and off I go listening to whatever music I want to hear for that given moment. Yeah. I mean, do you really listen to your own music a lot? Or, I mean, it's that you're playing it all the time. I've you know, uh, well, <laughs> honestly, uh, pr- not as much as you think. <laughs> yeah. I mean, when, 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 we're, I, when we're actually, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, we spend all that time recording it, writing it and recording it. But when we do get ready to start touring and there's, uh, let's say we want to learn three or four songs from the new album to insert into the set list, yeah. you know, for tour. Yeah. Th- those are usually the times when I'll go back and listen to those songs. But for the most part, it's... it's you do you know, have to teach yourself to, to play it again or do you, do you just by listening to it? I mean... Well, oh, the older, like the past catalog uh, yeah. albums? Uh, sometimes, yeah. Most of the time, because you haven't heard it or played it in so long. Yeah, that uh, you have to go back and refresh and your listen, memories, but and, listen, uh, and just listen to it and go, oh yeah, okay, now. Nah, yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's like like I always say, it's like falling off a bike again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now this tour, you guys just started this. You're only on your this is the fourth night tour coming up. Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow yeah. in Baltimore, and 
it's so far it's been going great. Uh, I know we're at the beginning stages of the of the tour, but uh, you know everything's going going well. Uh, we're going to be traveling up the East Coast uh, for the for this week and start working our way west. And we're going to end up towards uh, you know Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, California, and work and then work our way up north to Seattle, which is where we're from. And yeah. I believe this is that's where this particular leg will end up. Uh, I believe on April third. But uh, yeah, just uh, you know, uh, enjoying the moment. And you know, today, like I said earlier, we have a day off. So yeah. Now you've you've toured with you know for thirty eight years. Um, mm-hmm. and with some of the you know greatest bands like yourself, um, mm-hmm. what's one of the most memorable tours or you know dates that you can think of? Wow, that's uh, <laughs> another tough question. There's so many, bud. There, there's just so yeah. many. Uh, there's nothing that stands sure. out that go that you go, man. I remember this. <laughs> well, they I, I, all of them do, you know, as yeah. far back as I can remember. Uh, yeah. We're just grateful to have the opportunity to continue doing this today. It's yeah. been, like you said, 37, 38 years, and not in not in my wildest dreams that I ever think I'd be doing this that many years later. But uh, every every show, it's pretty special, even I, I from would the prob- begin- would, starting from the beginning. Think be, I would think probably doing your first show in your home city might stand out pretty well. Well, of course, yeah. And <laughs> that's that's always, you know, sort yeah. of the case. Uh, yeah. uh, but I remember uh, we had a, a show back in 83, I believe, right when the EP came out. And uh, we had a couple of shows in Seattle with a band called Zebra and uh, Ronnie James Dio's band. Uh, those were like our first two, I believe, two shows. The name Queensryche. And... Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, those were great. I mean, we had a. It's just uh, pretty grateful and and very fortunate to continue doing this today. Yeah. Is it, are there any band? Is there any band out there that you? Oh man, I wish we can tour with them. Uh, there there might be a handful, but I don't know. Uh, there there pretty is much so many. With them all. <laughs> well, I mean, we've we've been fortunate to tour with a lot of bands: ACDC, uh, Ronnie James Dio, Heaven and Hell, uh, Metallica, Def Leppard. It, just to name a few, it, it's oh, just yeah. been I mean, all big yeah, it's, it's, too, yeah. It's been a pretty awesome journey for us, and uh, uh, but uh, I, I don't know. Uh, there's there's just so many bands I would love to tour with. I can't just single out just one. Yeah, yeah. I thought I'd get maybe get some out of you, but <laughs> 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 let's see. Out of uh, all your success, which one stands out the most for you, business or personal? Well, let's go into the business part. Okay, I, I would say I would say I would have to say the very first day we were signed to a major record label, which was back in 1983. That to me is is the most memorable. Yeah. Being yeah. able to yeah, uh, it, it, it's and like I said, to be to be doing this 35, 38 plus years later, it's you know we're we're we're, we're very fortunate. If you can go back and change anything with the band would you what would you do if anything I don't I don't know if I'd change anything I think what we've experienced in our 37 38 years in our it career makes, it makes you who you are today you know yeah, yeah but I think I think it's just part of our journey whatever yeah. we've dealt with whatever accolades we received whatever uh they ups just, or downs and, yeah, yeah I mean ad, whatever adversities we've yeah. we've uh experienced it, it, I I just feel personally speaking it's just part of either the band's band journey or my journey in life you know it's just it is what it is you know and uh but uh I don't know if I could really change a thing you know yeah. um it, it's just <clears throat> like you said there's there's been some ups and downs and uh but I guess that's just, I, I think that's just part of my journey. So why should uh, Queensryche fans, or better yet, uh, any other fans, go out and get the new album, The Verdict? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, listen, as you know, music is all subjective. And, yeah. you know, uh, but I, I would only say that uh, if you haven't heard it, by all means, go out and pick it up. Uh, if you're a bit, you know, um, uncertain, give it a chance. You know, uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's, it's, it's a great, it's a great album. You know, front to back. Thank you, 
Yeah. You know, what we invest in, 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 in you know, growing up, you know, uh, back in the early days, you know, buying an album, buying a tape, you know, cassette tape or a CD, that, that's an investment because that yeah. typically, you know, when, when, you, when you invest in something like that, such as music or a new album from your favorite band, you know, that's going to last forever. That's going to, you know yeah. what I mean? It, it, it's yeah. uh, it, it's going to be a part of your life for a long time. And, um yeah, just like uh, going to a show, you know. Absolutely. Going to a concert, you know, you re- you remember it. I mean, I remember my first concert, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I think um, one of my one of my one of my first concerts was I believe was Alice Cooper, which I was a huge fan of and still am a huge fan of of of, of Alice Cooper. Just uh, you know, when it, back in my you know junior high days, uh, you know, I remember. Yeah. Uh, that was one of my first concerts. Uh, geez, what else? Uh, mm-hmm. I believe uh, uh, Black Sabbath. You know, in the in the mid eight or mid seventies. Uh, uh, yeah, there's there's a lot of bands that I was fortunate to go see back in the day, and uh, all my fun first, experiences. Yeah, my first show was uh, I think it was Monsters of Rock in I think it was. 82, well, I'm trying to remember what year it was. It was in Spokane, Washington, actually, uh-huh. um, with Metallica. Yeah, and I that mean, wasn't that with uh, Van Halen? Yes, yeah. Metallica, Van Dawkin? Halen. Yep. <laughs> was the Scorpions on that? I don't remember. Kingdom um, Come? Kingdom Come was, yeah. Yeah. I, all I remember is... Van Halen and Metallica. <laughs> right, right, right. I remember I seeing did. that. Uh, actually, now that you mention it, I remember seeing that tour in Seattle. Uh, when yeah, they, when we, uh, another one, one another one was mine. Uh, I think my second show was uh, Motley Crue, Girls, Girls, Girls at the uh, in um, <clears throat> not Seattle but um, Tacoma, Tacoma Dome. Yes, you know what? I believe <laughs> I might have been there too. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, that was a great show. By that the way. was a great show. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so thirty-eight years in the business. When do you see yourself uh, maybe calling it quits, or do you see that in the horizon, or farewell tours since everybody else is doing one? <laughs> I, I don't. As of right now, I, I don't really see that. Uh, yeah. You know, I'm just, just gonna keep going until you can get yeah i mean i always keep saying as long as we can afford to put fuel in our tour bus yeah. we're just going to keep we're just going to keep rolling down the down the highway and stop they at every it. city to perf- yeah stop at yeah. every city to perform at and continue writing and recording and uh yeah so it's well, I, don't, I don't i i so yeah i can't i can't uh i just personally i i enjoy what i do and uh it'd be def- difficult for me to uh hang it up right now it it's just uh th- this 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 sort of uh experience is is pretty awesome bud well that's the thing with farewell tours i think the musicians you know they think they're tired they they're done with it and they're tired with it until they stop doing it and then they come back <laughs> yeah yeah and, and do but... farewell tour number 5 <laughs> right, right. I mean, listen. I mean, you, you being around for over three decades, uh, we've you know reached out to a lot of fans. Uh, we've performed to uh, uh, many countries yeah. around the world, and uh, but uh, it, it's it's something that we still enjoy and have a passion for. Uh, I don't, you know, I, I it's, the difference is is this is a whole totally different lifestyle. Uh, because you don't get to come home every night. Uh, you're gone for weeks or months at a time. Uh, but uh, it, but we, like I said, I I, I still enjoy uh, performing, recording, yeah. yeah, creating music. Yeah, it's just not hard on you. It's you know hard on your families too. It so. can be. Well, it can be hard on yourself as well because it's you know all the early wake ups, whether it's photo sessions or interviews or uh, we have you know early flights you know and you have to you have like a 3 a.m 4 a.m wake-up call to you know to make yeah. the lobby call downstairs to get to the airport it it can be pretty good you know pre- yeah it can be so it's like <laughs> it's not for everyone yeah 
Well, I hope you uh, do it another 38 years. <laughs> hey, that'd be awesome. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, um, that's all I got for you. Um, if you want a, a shout out to the fans, you can go. Uh, now's your time. Well, a big shout out to the Queensryche, Queensryche fans out there. You guys have been amazing. Thanks for all the support. Uh, hope to see you out on tour soon. All right. Thanks, Eddie. I appreciate it. I'm a big fan, too, so um, I really appreciate your time. All right, bud. You have all a good right. day, man. You, too. Take it easy. Okay. Bye. Bye.